Hey guys, we're visiting a new place. We're visiting the Habitat for Humanity in Canton, Ohio. And from the outside, this place looks humongous. So I'm hoping that we get some really, really good deals in here. Let's head in. Looks like false graph. Yeah, it's a dollar. It's got the false graph glaze yeah. on it. It's not actually a bad deal at all. Oh, well, look at those little candle things. 77. Yeah. These? Mm -mm. These. Oh. Little tin things. They're 50 cents each. I think I'm going to pick those up. We'll just get them all. Avon bottle. Eleven dollars. Did you want to look at that? Yeah, I'll look at it. I didn't know what it was. They're all identical? They're all oh, identical. I don't want them then. Yeah, There's too yeah. many of the same. But I think we'll get that. It's two dollars. There's a bunny with a broken ear. Look 
If you're new to my channel, I'd like to take you thrifting with me about once a week. We'll go thrifting for vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop and on eBay. And I even look for things for my own home. So if that sounds fun to you, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button to be notified next time I upload a video. I don't know how much it is, but we look at that. I think that is missing a lid. Probably. Feels like restaurant wear. There's some good potters over there, but they got Waffle house. Chips in. Yeah. Chips. These star shaped candle holders are made by Rosenthal and they are. A popular thing that I see on live sales on YouTube so I thought I would go ahead and pick these up you'll see me checking the points on all of them to make sure that there's no chips and I didn't feel any chips so I think I got a good deal there yes thank you This is a piece of Salem, China, and actually I'm not that far from Salem, Ohio, where this would have been made. They actually stopped manufacturing in 1967, and so that piece was actually pretty old. There's a lot of frames and just miscellaneous stuff over here. That basket up there is pretty cool. They've got a lot of other baskets there too. Some luggage. And we've got a nice glass. I don't know, was that glass? I can't remember. I think it might have been plastic is why I didn't pick that up. And we're getting some frames here. I like those brass frames. They sell really well in my Etsy shop. There's just a lot of odds and ends and kitchen stuff here. This was cool, but it was broken.
So I left that behind. The music is playing pretty loud over here, so I figured I would just do a voiceover through here so I don't get a copyright strike. It's It kind of stinks that the stores play music and I can't video with the music playing, but I can just do a voiceover, I guess. And here is another Ohio pottery place, Sebring, Ohio. This is the shell pink. Uh, that was a plate or a platter, I'm not sure which. It was pretty, but there was only one. If you haven't been to a Habitat for Humanity, I'd suggest if you have one close by, go check it out. You never know what you're going to find, just like at Goodwill. And the prices here are way better than Goodwill, so go check it out. There's lots and lots of clear glass here. I wasn't sure exactly what that was. I think it's supposed to have a base to sit in. I see this pretty square lid and I'm hoping that I can find the bottom to it. So I'm searching here see if there's anything here. Unfortunately, there wasn't. That would have been a really pretty dish. There sure is a lot here to look at. Just a mixture of so many things. Look at all those vases up on the top shelf. There's a milk glass vase. Those always stick out to me. I should just start a collection of them for myself. I thought this was so pretty. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I feel like I, I should have bought that. And then I saw this. And this is a um, canister, a glass canister. And it should have had a black stripe down the middle of the front of it there that would have said flour or sugar or whatever. But it's worn off. But I will tell you... While I'm editing this video, that has sold within an hour after listing it. Okay, so our first trip to the Habitat for Humanity was a pretty good trip. 
I wasn't sure exactly what to expect in that store. I, it was a huge, huge store on the outside, so I was hoping it was going to be good on the inside. And it wasn't fully what I expected, but it was still pretty good. We've got some good stuff. So first we're gonna start with this Vintage Owens, Illinois. Uh, this is a canister. It would have had like a black stripe down the center here and it probably would have been labeled flour or sugar or something on the order of that. And the lid is um, a bit tarnished and the inside of it is also like, there must have been some moisture. This is the inside of the lid. There must have been some moisture in there, but it's still a pretty cool container and it was only a dollar fifty, and it's listed for twenty. And then I found this little boy, this little clay boy, who reminds me of um, one of the little boys on Polar Express. Not the main character, one of the other little boys. This is a sculpture by Lee Borton. It's a Lee Borton Originals. And he's in really, really good shape. He has the Borton signature down his leg. I paid $1.50 for him and he is also listed for 17. Next I found this pretty little, I don't know if this is like a wine cup or if it's like a, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you. It is brass and it's marked on the bottom Japan and I think it says, let's see if I wrote it down, UMC Japan. So I'm not sure what the UMC stands for. I really couldn't find what that stood for. I just saw other things were marked OMC, but this is clearly a U on the bottom of it. So anyways, this was 50 cents and it's listed for $12. It has seen better days. It does have a dent in the side of it and the rim of it is a little wavy, <laughs> but there's that. And then we found these little tin candle holders and these would hold the mini tapers. So there's five of these and I paid $3 for all five of them. And they had original stickers on the bottom from a store that I didn't recognize. They were like $3.95 a piece at one time, but I paid $3 for them and they are listed for 16. As always, I'm always on the hunt for these little brass picture frames. This is a three by five, three by five, no, it's a three by four, I'm sorry. And this one is an easel back and it was 50 cents and it is listed for seven. I also have the triple frame, uh, three and a half by five. This one does not have an easel back or a way to hang it. This one just sits on a stand. And this one was also 50 cents, I think. Yes. And it's listed for 12. I found these beautiful Rosenthal star candle holders. And these are crystal. I paid 50 cents for them. I couldn't really find any chips on any of the points. It's kind of hard to go through them and know that you've hit every point, but I don't feel any chips on them. Some of them are kind of sharp, pointy, but I don't think that they're chipped. 
But these are candle holders and they sit like this and they take a regular taper candle. And I paid 50 cents for them and they're listed for 25. I found this bunny planter. I believe this is just a hobbyist piece. It has felt on the bottom and I didn't want to peel that off to see if there was a signature anywhere. This was put on there to keep it from scratching your countertops or your the surface on your table. So I thought with Easter coming, I needed something Eastery for my shop. So I picked this up for $2 and it's listed for 12. I love these cups and if I could find the rest of them I'd keep them all for myself these are Hall USA no not Hall I'm sorry they're McCoy um, this is the blue polka dot one and it would have come in a set with orange yellow and green maybe I'm not sure exactly what the color the other colors are supposed to be I know there's an orange one um, this is like ribbed on the bottom and they were stacking cups. This one does have a couple of little chips here above the handle, but I think it's adorable and I think it would be cute with a little plant in it if you weren't even going to use it to drink out of, which the chips probably wouldn't, but uh, I think it would be cute with a plant. And then the last thing is this pretty little patchwork cup this is um made in japan when i looked up the comps on it some of the others had original packaging that said that they were made in japan so it has these pretty little floral quilted designs on it and i paid 20 cents for it and it's listed for six and i don't think i told you the price on the mccoy cup it was also 25 cents and it is listed for six dollars so, our total spend there was only $9.45, and we are going to list all of this for $133, so that leaves us with a profit of about $123. So that was a good stop. Well, if you've made it this far into the video, let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that we picked up at the Habitat for Humanity today. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.